What if the fastest way to stop relentless infections isn't another antibiotic, but rebuilding the microbes inside your gut so they can defend you? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're looking at fecal microbiota transplantation, how restoring microbial balance is helping long-term care patients and those battling recurrent C. difficile. I'm Alara Skye. Fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT, transfers microbes from a healthy donor to someone whose gut ecology has been disrupted. In the FMT National Registry of 259 people ranging from infancy to nearly 190% were free of recurrent C, difficile one month after treatment, and only 4% relapsed by six months. Most side effects were mild, like bloating or abdominal discomfort. In a clinical trial published in JAMA Network Open, clinicians in Atlanta evaluated frail long-term care patients colonized with multidrug-resistant organisms. 42 individuals were followed. 10 received FMT via gastrostomy tube or enema, and 32 received standard care. Tolerability was high, with one case of mild vomiting after administration. Two deaths occurred during follow-up, but investigators attributed them to underlying illness, not the procedure. The infection outcomes are the signal to pay attention to. None of the FMT recipients developed a bloodstream infection within six months, compared to 19% in the control group. They also required fewer days of antibiotics and showed less dominance by harmful gut pathogens. Importantly, colonization with resistant organisms persisted, and 60% acquired a new resistant category over time, yet serious infections still dropped. Evidence that regaining microbial balance can curb disease even when organisms remain detectable. Mechanistically, it makes sense. Broad-spectrum antibiotics disrupt your gut's equilibrium by wiping out supportive microbes along with the problem organisms. FMT reintroduces a balanced community that competes with pathogens, enhances immune signaling, and increases microbial diversity. Changes linked with better resilience, steadier digestion, and reduced reliance on additional antibiotic courses. Real-world patterns from the registry add practical context. Relapses, when they occur, cluster in the first two months after treatment, a window when you and your care team can be extra vigilant. The registry also captured patients often excluded from conventional trials, those with IBD, IBS, or compromised immunity. Yet the overall effectiveness remained strong, which mirrors the complexity seen in everyday practice. Access pathways are improving. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved Vaust in 2023, the first orally administered fecal microbiota product for preventing recurrent C, difficile in adults, and approved Rebiota in 2022, a rectally administered live biologic. These options standardize manufacturing and delivery while expanding availability beyond traditional stool transfers. Translating this into action starts with considering FMT if you're stuck in the cycle of relapse, despite antibiotics. Use antibiotics only when truly necessary, since they erode gut diversity. When they are required, be intentional about recovery. The article also notes that you can consider a high-quality probiotic and prebiotics to support rebuilding. Dietary steps should be gradual and matched to your digestion. If you tolerate it, expand variety with whole fruits fiber-rich carbohydrates, and well-cooked vegetables to feed microbial diversity. If your gut is fragile, it starts simpler, fruit with pulp or white rice. Then widen choices over time as comfort allows. The aim is to supply your microbiome with the inputs it needs to stabilize. Because C. difficile exposure is common in hospitals and long-term care, prevention matters daily. Wash hands with soap and water since alcohol-based sanitizers do not kill C. difficile spores. Be mindful of shared surfaces and keep your personal area clean. If you're prescribed antibiotics, ask why they're needed and whether alternatives exist. Restoring gut balance after a course lowers your risk of recurrence. There's also promising work in liver disease, where infections from resistant organisms are a major threat. 
The ongoing PROMISE trial in the UK is enrolling about 300 people with cirrhosis to test whether periodic capsules containing freeze-dried donor microbiota, given every three months for two years, can cut infections and reduce antibiotic use by improving immune function through microbiome modification. This direction is supported by prior scholarship. A 2021 report in Seminars in Liver Disease described how the gut microbiota, roughly a thousand bacterial species, shapes health and disease, with imbalances tied to acute injury and chronic conditions like cirrhosis, autoimmune liver disease, and fatty liver. Modulating the microbiome was proposed as a useful adjunct for these patients. For you or a loved one in long-term care, the key takeaway is practical. Even when resistant bacteria remain in the gut, restoring diversity can lower serious infection rates and reduce antibiotic exposure. Shifting from colonization that sits quietly to infections that demand intensive treatment is what pushes hospital readmissions. FMT appears to reduce that progression. Safety data, to date, support careful adoption. In the Atlanta trial, the procedure was well tolerated with only minor transient effects. In the National Registry, nearly half reported short-term gastrointestinal symptoms, yet serious events linked to FMT were rare at about 1%. Many post-treatment infections, such as UTIS or pneumonia, reflected the baseline risk in these populations rather than an effect of FMT. It's also fair to recognize limits. The Atlanta study was small, and while the zero bloodstream infections in the FMT group versus 19% in controls is compelling, the difference didn't reach statistical significance. Larger controlled trials will clarify magnitude and durability. Still, Alongside the real-world registry, the trend offers a reason basis for considering FMT in high-risk scenarios. If you're navigating this right now, line up next steps. Ask your clinician whether you're a candidate for FMT, including FDA-approved options such as Voust or Rebiota. Plan for closer monitoring during the first two months after treatment. Reinforce soap and water hygiene. And, as your digestion allows, Adopt a measured, gut-friendly diet progression to support microbial diversity. Here's your challenge. If recurrent C. difficile or antibiotic-driven setbacks are part of your story, schedule a conversation this week with your care team about FMT eligibility. Confirm the necessity of any current antibiotics. Write down a two-month follow-up plan and choose one dietary step, either adding a well-tolerated cooked vegetable or simplifying to a gentle staple to help your microbiome stabilize. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.